hello everyone welcome to another t-shirt design tutorial so today i'm going to make a streetwear t-shirt design now this is the example my client sent the world needs more techno this is a streetwear style but he want me to make it in different style so this is the example so this this will be the text i'll be using in this design and then these are some elements i'll be using in this design so the basic of streetwear design is i am really beginner here but you have to play with the text effect that's the most important part so this techno is the main important thing this is the name of the niche so all about is like this word techno so i'm going to give it the focus of my design here so i am going to use a technology related font something like this or maybe not that one this one this is called tamiron bold you can download this one from google this is not a google font like from the font.com or any other website so that is the font name now here the main thing is i have to like this is the focus part of my design so i have to play with that text and what i will do here as a first step is i am going to make some copies of that text something like this so three six nine okay and here is the center position of that then in this text i am going to select them all then i'm going to pick a pinkish color like this so maybe this hot pink color that is really good and here i will be like selecting everything and then press shift to deselect this one that means the this eight is selected except this one and then make them a group you can see here that eight is grouped so if i press shift x that will convert it into s pro and i can increase the stroke size so it will give me a theme like this a design like this so this one is in fill color and these are in a stroke color so that is the that is how i wanted it to be and then this is the globe part here let's make them a group for now so that i can select my wire globe and then i can place it okay so if you want to know the name of this element this is called wire globe that means this is a globe made of wire you can search on google wire globe you will find this so this is the position i want to keep it for now and then maybe this is a bit too big a bit smaller something like this because this is the example style so i have to follow that and then i will be able to create the similar vibe or if we are working for a client then it is really important to design anything with some sort of relation to the example because he already liked this one so if i make something something completely different then maybe he will not like that because he already liked this one so i will create something similar to this one but unique so that is the text position and the globe position here and then i am going to use this one the world needs more something like that maybe so this is the way i wanted to put it okay and then here i will be selecting all of my text and then okay that is also a group let's go inside this group select everything and then i can simply select this and create outline that means all these fonts are now broken they are not active font right now or maybe that's a mistake okay don't worry about that i will fix that so this is how it is looking and this is the font here i'm going to break that too then i'm going to align it in the center position so as you can see here this font is not visible on top of there that so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to select my this font or let's create a rectangle here just like this not too big maybe in a stroke size just so that i can see what is where it is placing so in this position then i'm going to cut this i need to select my this group all of it then maybe a bit bit more bigger size stroke 15 pixel that 15 point that is fine and then if i select this group like this i can open the transparency for this and then here press ctrl f 
this is how it is looking press shift x to turn this into fill and then make the fill black so you can see that that will make that area complete transparent and then copy this shape click here then select this wire frame open transparency press ctrl f so this is how my design is looking right now and then i will be selecting this globe then again select this one this group inside the group press ctrl f and here i will be making merge unite so that it becomes one single shape and I, as you can see this is how it is looking right now and this one i will be picking a brighter color something like this color so this is how it is looking right now don't worry that just put a background so that we can see you can see this is those colors looks really well on black cool looking design that is being made so that is fine so the world i want to make it same size wide as my this this text from here okay i need my ruler here because when anything is in a stroke it snaps the stroke size not the full design wide i hope you will understand what i am trying to say so that should be the full wide of my design then i'm going to make it bigger from that end and this one here okay so it is snapping to the pixel i have turned that off and now i can simply place it wherever i want it so this is how it is looking the world needs more and i want to go to this font and this one i am going to pick this color make sure that i am placing it in the right position yeah that is fine just a bit okay sorry guys i was pressing okay so i was pressing alt and that that makes this much copies not this one then just delete it so i have to press shift then something like this area is totally fine the world needs more techno so that is the thing that is the theme of this design and here i want to do some modifications like this one i am going to select you have, you have to be careful or watch this carefully so i am selecting this one then press ctrl c to copy then ctrl b to paste in back now bring that by pressing shift bring that on time up and then press shift x so this is how it will look make that a stroke 10 size 10 pixel size maybe in this much okay not that much so here in this position then i want to pick a black fill for this color also so here is black fill and then pink border just copy this press ctrl b copy press ctrl b copy press ctrl b so here i am creating four new layers of that and then this one i am going to make it okay so let me just lock this black layer so that it doesn't move from its place and then here i want to select everything except this this layer so i'm going to select this one that group open transparency and then i'm going to pick a shape here simple just like this no stroke on the black fill and then here i will be bringing that up a bit it just it takes time to adjust this kind of positions so that is how it is looking right now and i am going to do that same thing here so in this area i am going to first of all select this one ctrl c ctrl b then bring it on time right then make the stroke 10 pixel pick a black fill that is fine then ctrl c ctrl b on time ctrl c ctrl b on time ctrl c ctrl b on time so this is how it is looking right now and i have to group it all so let's accept that one make it a group okay sorry so i made a mistake here and that is i have to select it carefully like this one i don't want to select but the rest i want to select 
so let's group it open transparency no fill no stroke only black fill and something like this don't worry it will look good yeah that's it so this is how it is looking right now and we are going to do this on more time we are going to do this same thing so i'm going to select this one Control c Control f to just paste in the in that place so i'm going to make it a bit bigger here then i'm going to copy that Control b one time or two time then make it bigger like this or maybe one more time i'm going to increase the size of this plug so that i can see what's going on here and then this one i'm going to press ctrl c ctrl b ctrl c ctrl b just like this and i don't need any more so that much is fine let's group it up make sure that your fill color is black and then bring them a bit down adjust the position of this black border and that's it the word needs more techno so this is how it is looking right now and maybe i will use this one in this color because that is also a color of this design and then i am i want to use this skull instead skull in the center position here just like this and then i want to make the i want to make it in the center position of the globe yeah kind of this that is fine and i'm going to pick this color for the skull and here i want to cut it and then selecting this wire globe and press ctrl b to paste it back just keep it there open transparency for that and then draw a shape here just like this make sure that shape is in black so this is how it is going to look right now and this is our final design okay we can do one more thing that is applying some effect to our this text so maybe i will select this group only this strokes group go to effect wrap and then something like twist let's see how it is looking kind of this and you can see this is how it is looking so this is a street wire design and the rec recreation of this design so i'm going to select everything from here make them a group all together then i'm going to expand appearance that means i'm going to break everything that is in a stroke any effect that i applied so everything will become only fill in different color so that is fine let's cut it unlock that layer i don't need them all now cut it select all delete so this is my main design right now let's see how it is going to look on a full printed canvas so this is how it is looking the magic of streetwear design is you can always fill the areas like you can add some more effect here and that will look cool so let's try to do that i'm going to draw a shape here in this size maybe and then i need to make a copy of that i'm grouping them then selecting them again and group them and then i want to align them to the center position not in the in that position that is fine so in the center position now i have to create a rectangle here i can simply erase this part but i don't want to do that because here i always want to i can modify so here i will be picking it like this so that this end is not open and then of course one more thing here that is this end i will keep close so that is fine let's select everything make clipping mask 
and that is your shape here now it is not looking very good but don't worry so it is this is how it is looking right now and i can simply modify this position just like this don't worry how it is looking it always looks good so yeah there should be some space between this design that is fine let's not do that i'm going to create a 4500 into 5400 artboard sorry rectangle because that is my artboard size send them to back align with my artboard so this is how it is looking right now and this is how my final design i hope you enjoyed this one and i tried to do something new here but if you if you didn't understand any part of this design you can let me know in the comment section and i will try to replay that or i will try to show that in my next video so let me know if you do not understand any part thank you guys for watching my videos thank you for subscribing see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you